Welcome to Academia De Cento, where each week we bring you a different recipe and new chefs. And this week, I'm so excited, not only chefs, but winemakers, cabinet makers too. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, to my left is John Tenalia. To my right is Vincent Novello. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. Thank you for inviting us. What are we making today? Well, we're going to start off with a very traditional dish, which is a stuffed panzetta, panzetta which is a stuffed breast of veal. And then after the company of that, we're going to have our pasta with uh, artichokes and uh, cannellini beans with a nice little topping. Now, let me give everybody a little background. You, you have a catering business. Yes. But you, you also, they call you Johnny Stairs. Yes. Because you build stairs. Yes. And Vince, you're a cabinet maker, you're yes. in construction. Mm -hmm. But what's really interesting, as a hobby, these guys are, I'm going to say, professional winemakers. Can I say that? Or just professional winos? Or okay. what, how do we like professionals. Professionals. <laughs> you know. All right, so what's first, the stuffing? Yes, we're going to start with the stuffing. What yeah. I usually do is I don't cook our, we have a, a, a the pork from sausage. We season it, at, it's just the sausage would out of the casing. And I never cook pork with, uh, actually, with uh, oil because there's a lot of uh, fat in the ingredients for so pork. So you don't really need the oil. So, no. So this is our, this will our pork it down. sausage out of the casing. Yes. And, and you're going to put it in water? Yes, absolutely, and cook it down because the, the actually the fat in the sausage will make its own sure. little. Let me just figure out, let's do this. So um, this is, the only thing that we have to do is you've got to keep mixing this because you don't want it to clump. If you want clumps, then you might as well just have a dish of sausage. I see so, what you're saying. Yeah, so you're basically going to ground this up like this, ground yeah, meat. Exactly what it is. And you know what? If you don't like pork, you can also do this with ground meat. It's not a big, it's not a big deal. And this is the basis for the stuff. That is correct. Now you have this um, veal breast marinating in what? Yes. Uh, we have this marinating in wine. Mm -hmm. We have it marinating with parsley olive oil and garlic, okay. salt and black pepper. Yes. Okay. Very simple. Overnight. How long do you have overnight? Okay. We're almost done. You do want to cook. I, that's one thing I, I you cook that through because thoroughly, it's pork, sure. thoroughly. Even though it's going to go in the bonzette and it's going to go in the oven, you still have to cook it thoroughly. Right. And we're going to get our pork. We're going to put it right over our. Okay. The juice and everything. Juice and everything. Now what we're going to do. Right over the bread. That's right. Now what we're going to do is we have our onions and celery that have already been in the food processor f sort of fined up. So you and puree put, those. Yes, puree that and we're going to put that in the same pot. Don't have to rinse it. Okay. And we're going to make this translucent. I'm going to turn this back in so we don't cause a fire here and then we're going to throw this out. So as soon as that gets and then what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of uh, olive oil, just okay. a drop. All right. And Good. usually if you have it, butter, it's up to you but I like uh, just a little bit of olive oil. Thank you, Sir Vincent. Look how nice. Beautiful. Now that's gonna become translucent. We're gonna put that on top also. And here we go. Right on top. Yes, and then we're gonna mix this together. Now I imagine that with all that hot stuff you're putting in there, the... The egg is not gonna solidify it, and I'll tell you why, because... Oh, okay. Yeah, I, it doesn't... We we're mixing fast, and then we're gonna get our cento breadcrumbs, and we're gonna... That's gonna slow it. down the... Yep, it slows down the process. Even though this is a little warm, all right, hit me, handsome. Sorry, I didn't mean to like squeeze you out. No, it's fine. You start you that way yes, I certainly will. As you. we go along. Okay, we're there. All right. Excellent. So you're saying when you go to the butcher and you order this, ask them to the pocket. To make, to make the, the pocket. pocket. Yes. In fact, that most of the time they'll offer. Really? Yes. Yeah, without it even going yeah, into it's detail. It's just a standard standard thing. Beautiful. Then we're going to garnish this because I love the one thing I love is roasted carrots. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that all the runoff from the the marinade that we're going to pour on top, mm -hmm. the mushrooms will soak up because you, you keep the mushroom, we keep the mushrooms dry. Okay. Okay, now this is going to go in, I would say, what, 350, Vincent? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to use about a cup, cup and a half, two cups. We basically, most of the time, it's just by eye, and it mm -hmm. works so much better that way for us. This <laughs> does not get covered. No. No? No. Never. It no. goes in the oven just as is. Yes. All right, so you said we're cooking pasta. Yes, always. What, what is that Italian meal without pasta? But, but you have a, a saute pan. Absolutely. Yes. All right, tell me what we're doing, because this looks a little different. Okay. We're going to start with, uh, we're actually, what we're going to prepare as a side for our stuffed bonzetta is the cannellini beans, artichokes, garlic and oil mm. with a topping of toasted breadcrumbs, cheese, and anchovy uh, is is a light olive oil. Right. right. 
uh, not an wanna, extra virgin. Right, extra virgin we use for a topping. Never fry with extra virgin. You're wasting your money, you're wasting the taste of the beautiful olive oil. Um, that's That was a no-no. Even in Italy, what we do is we always drizzle everything with olive oil after. That's the good olive the oil. The extra virgin. But, right, but you don't want the garlic to stick to the pan, so that's usually a problem. So we're going to throw some of the beans in there, and we're going to throw some of our artichokes, okay. which are there. Cento artichokes. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is two cans. This is two cans. This is two cans. Yes. And, uh, there's a reason. And the reason for it being is we want to thicken the, the sauce okay. that goes into the pasta. So it coats the pasta individually. So you're basically making a sauce here. This is what you're Pretty much. Pretty much. Yes. So as, as that saute, I like to reduce these our cannellini beans so that we can make a little bit of a paste, which when you mix it with the olive oil, it's going to come down make nice and thick. So these aren't going to go in the pan. They are going to go, yes, they just are. at the la very last minute. As we reduce this, we're going to add about a cup of red wine. Okay. okay. Good. Thanks. Okay. While John is reducing that somewhat, I think at this point, what I'm going to do is I have a can of anchovies. I'm going to paste these down so that it will blend nicely with the breadcrumbs and a little bit of cheese for our top. Okay. Yes. So you have basil, you have parsley. Yes, and we have a little bit of, uh, of regular olive oil, mm -hmm. which we're going to, and he's going to throw a little garlic More in. More garlic. Sure. What we're going to do is we're going to mix as we go because you know it's a little pasty. Right. And so, so you're going to try right. to make it a little saucy. Sure. Boy, this is a very unique sauce. I've never seen anything like this. We're very unique, unique you people. You are. Absolutely. You're the Renaissance man. Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> okay. So you've already played at your bonzette. Yes. Right. This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Are we done? Almost. Mm -hmm. Almost. There's Almost. more. Finishing but wait, touches. There's more. And I'll Finishing show you touches. Okay. As we go along. All right. Okay. In this situation now, this is our stuffed breast of veal. Okay. What we like to do with this, for starters, is to drizzle. More olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil yes, at this point. Yes. The good stuff. Right. Just to add that additional olive taste. And we're also going to do that with our pasta. After we serve our pasta, we give you a nice portion of pasta and then we'll drizzle the olive oil on top. Again, getting that extra virgin taste. And in this situation, what we'll do is we'll just do that. Because that's my serving it's so That's my this dish. Is your dish. This is family stuff. Give him a fork. Yes. <laughs> okay, so to pair together. Now you have a little bit of the extra au jus. Are we yes. doing anything with that? Actually, when we serve it, what we'll do is we'll, we'll pour you'll it You'll pour top. it, and you'll cut it, like you mentioned, along, along with the, the ribs. ribs. Yeah, you can actually see them. If you look at them, you can see them. See that you know where to cut. You this see is that. just incredible. This is just a beautiful, beautiful dish. Two dishes. Um, gentlemen, thank you. No, thank you. Um, um, shall, shall we? Please, always. I believe, John. Thank you very much. All right. Vincent, Chenda. Chenda. God right. bless. Thank you. Buona salute. But before we go, let's tell everybody if they want to find you, find out about Vendemia, where do we go? Uh, on the bathroom wall. No, you're just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're in. Uh, you can John's Custom Stairs or the Mill at uh, 2115 South 8th Street. The Vendemia is actually, uh, you can call Vincent, call him at his home late at night. <laughs> okay, that's exactly what time you want to call. Two, three o'clock in the morning is best. If Thank you me. do a, a search of Vendemia South Philadelphia, you will find Vincent, you will find the information every fall. It's a wonderful event. Thousands of people show up for this, right? Yeah, yes. and you can always go under Vino Info okay. at AOL.com. There you and go. We'll be more than happy to answer whatever questions you might have. Okay, fabulous. All right, of course, find this recipe at Cento.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we will see you next time. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.